everybody this is buck wsr weezer coming at you today from atop the 98 bounder motorhome and one of the first projects that i need to do with this is to get this roof sealed and coated so that it will be dry inside it's 20 years old hasn't ever been done before there's the slide topper it needs some help but what i was doing today is applying some generous amounts of the Dicor self-leveling lap sealant around all the things that protrude through the through the roof around all the vents access points skylights plumbing vents and uh, took me about an hour and a half maybe two hours I went through about four tubes of the product and I think that this is going to do a great job of sealing off all of these places where I know it was leaking here at the refrigerator vent I there were some cracks in there and I know water was getting in there and uh, yeah, so I'm really happy to get this part of the job done. Kind of windy today. But the roof feels solid to walk on. I know a lot of the coating, the original coating is worn off, showing this black rubber. So I've got the next pr product, the uh, rubber roof coating, and we're going to uh, we're going to get around to coating this for too long. So I'll bring you along for that part of the process too. Well today's the day I'm going to coat the roof and uh, I could wish for warmer weather but at least it's dry and I'd rather get it done and not have to wait until spring. So we're all ready. We're all ready to go here. I have removed the covers to the two air conditioners. I wanted to be able to check them out, clean them out, and also make sure I get a good, can get up nice and close with the uh, with the roof coating. The product that I've chosen to go with is Hangs Industries Roof Coat Rubber Roof Coating. I went with this. The reviews were pretty good online, and it's just a one. It's just a one-step product. Some of the other products out there require two, you know, two steps. One with a sort of like a primer. Um, this is just a one, a one-step coating that I think will do a good job, and I can get it on and move on. So the first thing I want to do is open it up, mix it up, and uh, use the brush and cut in around all the protrusions, vents, air conditioners, along the edges. I'll probably cut it in twice and then roll it twice. So let's get started. These cans I ordered online Boy, they weren't packed real well. You can see how dented up it is. It's amazing. Didn't break open, that's what matters. But Yeah, it, it, it paints on really easily. It's a pretty thick product, not, not soupy. And uh, I like the way that's I like the way that's going on. Not only is it going to keep things dry, but it's sure going to make the roof look a lot nicer. Beautiful white. Oh yeah, feels good. Really go 
close on pretty easily. And that feels good. Well, I'm done cutting in around the sides and all the protrusions. And now we're ready to roll out the next coat. I would, I would use this strategy, put it on and move on, and don't try to do too much excessive rolling. Okay, so the first coat rolled on is complete. I'm gonna let it dry for a couple hours. And I'm gonna come back and recoat it with the roller. Probably be in my socks at that point instead of my boots. Hopefully the coating first coat will dry sufficiently so I'll be able to walk on here to lightly uh, apply the second coat. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so it's coat two going on now. It's only been about an hour and a half since the first coat. The instructions say to wait four hours, but I do not have that luxury. Just getting it on. Second coat goes on easier. That's just typically the case. And faster, at least we got a little bit of sunshine out here.
coverage is pretty good at this point. Baby beside me at the wheel. Cruising and playing the radio. With no particular place to go. Of course, that can be an expensive idea, cruising and not having any particular place to go when you're driving this thing. But with the price of fuel and all. Got a cassette deck in there. I'm pretty happy about that, I can't lie. Well, there you have it. It's two coats on there drying, and I'm really happy to get this done. I'm going to have to do some work on that slide out topper and top of the slide out at some point. For now, I'm glad to get the main roof done, seal up all these areas where it was leaking. Sure looks a lot nicer now, too. So the project continues. I am Buck WSR Weezer. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps you, gives you some inspiration and ideas. Join us for other videos as we renovate this 1998 Bounder motorhome. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.